Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the really late post, but finally bring, putting this up. But today is going to be Cardi B's video, um, the makeup that she had in the video with Offset. Uh, it's called Clout. I think that look was so bomb. Um... So yeah, I already did my eyebrows off camera and I concealed them. I primed my face with face primer, with the e.l.f. hydrating face primer. And I also put on my vitamin E and coconut oil. Um, but now we're going to move on to the eyes. And I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 310. Okay, so I'm going to go into my James Charles and Morphe palette, and I am going to start off with this shade right here, and I'm using a the Jaclyn Hill 33 brush. So I don't have any white concealer, so what I'm going to do instead is take my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 310, and I'm going to start carving out um, the shape that I want. Um, so in, her, in the video, the front of her eyelid is white, and then um, it turns like yellow. It starts getting yellow towards like the middle and the ends. So I'm going to carve it out, but I'm going to put white... Um, eyeshadow in the front and then yellow in the other half. So in the James Charles palette, it has a white eyeshadow, and I'm just going to take a flat brush like this and start patting it um, about halfway from my inner corner. So I just want to say that because I used um, a concealer with it, with a yellow undertone, um, I had to really pat in the white and use a lot of it. So if um, if it'll be easier, like to use whatever you have, then you know you can. But if you use a white concealer, it would be much more better and less work okay, but so i have um my white eyeshadow now i'm going to just i'm gonna just brush off some of the product that i have on this brush because it was just white eyeshadow that i used and then i'm gonna go into back into the um james charles palette and i'm gonna use this actually yeah, I'm going to use that yellow right here.
I don't know if you guys can tell, but it really like looks, it doesn't look blended enough, like right here in between where the white and the yellow meet. So I'm gonna try doing this, but I'm gonna try taking some of the white and the yellow and in that area, I'm just gonna pat those two colors in between and try to um, blend them together. Now I'm gonna take this flat looking brush right here and I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu rose water. I'm gonna spray this. And I'm gonna go into my BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. And I'm gonna use two shades. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is called Ombre. And it's this white shade right here. And then this shade is Flashing. And these are both shimmery shades. I wanted to add some shimmer to the white um, eyeshadow. Okay, so I haven't used this in a wicked long time. Um, so I'm hoping it would work. It's going to work. But I'm going to go in with a, God help me, gel eyeliner. Um, it's a gel eyeliner from Inglot. So... Um, so this is just what it looks like, and then I just have a angled brush that I'm going to be using. Um, yeah, I need to create an eye, an, um, a wing, and this is the only thing I have, so I'm going to try doing a wing with this. And her wing goes really out, so that's why I'm, like, forcing it like that. And it doesn't connect. Um, she has, like, glitter in some areas, so I'll show you guys in a bit, but I'm not going to make it connect all the way. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's what I meant when I said that I wasn't going to fill it in all the way. Because she has like, I think it's glitter. I'm going to use glitter, but um, she has like some sort of gap there and it has some color. So I'm going to leave just this part um, right here without filling it in with eyeliner. Now I'm going to try doing it on this eye. Oh, I should have thought of this before, but I actually put argan oil into the, the um, gel eyeliner and it's gliding way better on this eye and I should have done that for this eye, but I'm just going to go over it with um, the argan oil mixed with the gel eyeliner for this eye. And I'm going to go in with glitter, but I'm going to use the NYX Pigment Primer. Um, I'm gonna use this same brush that I put that last color in to apply this. And then I'm also using the gold glitter from NYX as well. So now I'm just going to go back in with the gel eyeliner and just um, fill in the bottom. A lot of the glitter got um, on the bottom part of the wing eyeliner, so that's just what I'm doing, just retouching it. Woo! 
Alright, girl. Got glitter all over me, but the hard part is finally over. I'm going to use my Better Than Sex mascara before I pop on some falsies. So I really like the lashes from Slay Bella, and it's these lashes right here. So those are the lashes that I'm going to put on. Um, I high-key wish that I did go, like, eyelash shopping because um, the ones that Cardi uses, they're kind of, like, spread out a little. They're, like, longer. They're not so... They're not so wispy. They're, I don't know how to explain it, but they're, they're different than these are, but... Um, these are going to work for this look as well, so uh, these are the ones I'm going to use. Okay, so now on to the face makeup. Um, I'm gonna take my Clinique foundation. Um, I'm already primed, like I said before, but because I was wiping off a whole bunch of glitter, um, I'm gonna just go back in with a couple, um, with a little bit of the face primer. It's just mainly in this area. So now I'm just gonna use the foundation and I'm gonna put it all over my face. I'm gonna just dab my beauty blender all over my face, picking up any extra product. So you guys already know the deal. I always conceal with two Fenty concealers, but today, since this foundation is like, you know, it it's basically clearing everything, I'm just gonna use my fancy foundation my fancy um concealer and 310 just to highlight and i'm gonna put it right here on the bridge of my nose forehead chin and where i'm gonna carve out my contour So now, of course, going into my NYX um, Contour and Highlight Palette using, uh, I'm going to use this color today. I think it's in Sculpt. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl um, Loose Powder 
and I'm going to take this all over my face and this is just gonna be my um, not my highlighting shade but just to set in the foundation and everything else that's on my face so that it looks nice and even and now to highlight I'm gonna take my Fenty powder banana powder um, and I'm gonna use that under my eyes just in this area right here I'm not gonna force it because I don't want it to be too late and then down the bridge of my nose a little bit on the forehead chin and whatever I have left So now for my lips, I'm taking this NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty lipstick uh, lip gloss in Fussy. I really need to buy um, another setting spray. I need to go back to Urban Decay because they were bomb. But for now, I'm going to use what I have. And I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Rose Water. It smells so nice. Okay, everyone. So this is the final look. Um, I really hope you guys liked it. I really loved the look on her the second that I saw the video. It's a little, you know, it's doing their thing. But her makeup looks popping. So I really wanted to do that. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would like to see, like, me do other videos like this like she has a lot of looks that are really nice so let me know what you guys want me to do um but other than that like share um subscribe to my channel and i really hope you guys like this look until next time bye